Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back to Good Travel Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix age of Wonders phone is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop and even stuck on loading screen which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, you have to start with a simple restart, for that just go over here in the start. Click on this one, go to this icon, go for a restart. After restart is successfully done, just try to play the game. This is what you have to do. This is actually a basic step which you can start with a restart. Once restart is done and still if you are having the issue, then just let's move to the next step. That is all about we need to verify <coughs> integrity of game file. For that reason, you just need to go over here in the game. Right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is this will be cross check if any files are missing and if any files are corrupted. All these kind of issues will be fixed. And if you are having this issue, then this particular issue will be completely fixed by this particular step. So you can try this out and this is what you have to do. So this particular step is an important one. The verify integrity of game file is actually going to work for you for sure because this did work for many users as well so try with this once you get the play button just try to play the game moving to the next one is all about we need to go for launch the game from the installation folder right now we are at the steam so launching the game from the steam might be an issue for some game this happens simultaneously so what happens is launching the game is not working for them but they, when launch the game from the installation folder, this need to work out. So over here, go to the age of wonders, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. Now we are redirected to this one. Now from here, as you can see the application over here, age of wonders 4. So just launch the game from here. Instead of launch the game from Steam, launch the game from here that did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. Once after that, just move to the next step. If the third step is not working, we need to move to the next one. That is run the game as an administrator. For that, just go over here, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. So very easily you are redirected to the installation folder. Simultaneously, apart from this shortcut, there is one more method. That is you can navigate to the age of wonders for using file explorer. So just click over here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam Amps. Now from here go to Common. Now from here go to Age of Wonders 4. Then try to launch the game. Get the .exe over here. Right click and go to Show More Options. I mean Properties. Compatibility. Now go to Run this program as an administrator. Go for Apply and go for OK and try to play the game. Most probably when you run the game on the compatible, I mean run as an administrator this did work it so even if it's still not working and if you're having the issue i would like to suggest you one more step that is running the game in the compatibility mode so just right click show more options properties compatibility go over here click on run this program in compatibility mode instead of running the game on windows 8 first select windows 7 go for apply and go for ok if that is not working change it to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game but keep in mind, after trying the running the game in the compatibility mode, and if you're still having the issue, then I request to undo this particular step. That is, just go over here, go to show more options. <coughs> Sorry, go to properties, compatibility mode, uncheck this one. So you can keep the run this program as an administrator should be done. It should be checked, but uncheck this particular step and go for apply and go for OK. Now try to play the game move to the next step next step is all about we need to make sure that your windows language is english for that just go over here in the search go to settings go to time and language go to language and region make sure it is english and if the language is not english and if you're trying to use any native language like japanese chinese german arabic etc click on this particular button and search for english and set the language to English and try to play the game. Moreover, keep in mind the date and time zone should be correct. So time and time zone both should be correct over here. So just set this up. Now close this and go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about 
we need to launch the game but you need to press alt and tab i don't know how this is going to work for you but this did work for almost every game so just click on the play button the moment you are clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab key together on the keyboard that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that just go over here in the file explorer go to documents now from here if you find the folder of age of wonders 4 just delete the folder so you'll be losing all the progressions if you do so but that is fine just delete it once after that just go back and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that just go over here in the search go for control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here search for age of wonders 4 so over here as you can see this is set this up so age of wonders 4 is being set that is both pub, uh, public and private is being set so if you don't find this we can add it manually for that just click on allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps go to common now from here age of wonders 4 now go over here select this one go for open and add it so if it's already not added you can add it by default like this once after that just go back and check whether the game or the issue is solved if not move to the next step that is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices you might be connected to many usb devices like mouse joystick additional controllers hotas wheels etc even logitech wheels so if all these things are connected just remove everything from the usb port and even the joystick can be removed once after that just uh, keep it completely free then launch the game after the game is successfully launched if you wanted to play or continue the game with the controllers just connect back the controllers only then try to play the game this particular step did work it for many users as we found this particular step from the reddit so you can try this out as well moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services go for disable all hide all microsoft services should be selected go for apply and go for ok if it is asking for a restart go for restart but here we are in the middle of video so i'm gonna exit without a restart so just restart your pc open the steam and try to play the game and most probably that's going to work for you as well moving to the next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here in the game right click and go to properties make sure this is unchecked that is this is disabled once after that try to play the game if that is not working next step give the commands in the launch option that is first one dx11 over here dx11 just give this command and try to play the game if that is not working change this to dx12 and try to play the game if that is not working as well change this one to d d3 d2 and try to play the game try with all these commands any one of them should be worked if, if any one of the thing is not working just remove everything from the launch option keep it nil once after that just close this and try to play the game next one is all about we need to uh, do is we need to close all the overlay applications so just go over here right click and go to uh, over here in the task manager now over here as you can see there are 60 sorry 98 apps are running in the background which is actually using my RAM in the background that is causing the crashing issue sometimes. So if that is the case, we need to get rid of it. So first, if you go to the task manager, keep scrolling down, you will be able to find some apps like Discord, which comes under the category of overlay applications. And if you find it, just remove it. There is one more step that is overclocking applications, which is one of the main reason for crashing issue, which comes under the category. So for example, the things like Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner, etc., which is one of the main reason. And if you find anything over here, just remove it from the background. Then just close everything and go back and try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Sorry. Go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Now from here, we need to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now go to this PC, local to C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and steam folder. Go to steam apps. Go to common. Now from here select age of wonders 4. Now from here select this one and add it. 
once you add this just go over here in the option make sure this being set into high performance now go for save and once after that just close this and go back and try to play the game next one is all about after trying this still you're persisting with the issue then we need to try with some of the most working step that comes from the first one that is known as increasing the virtual memory for that just go over here in the search go to view advanced system setting go to advanced setting once again advanced go for change over here make sure you should be selecting the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size initial size should be 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is three times the total ram so here we need a calculator so i know what is the ram of my computer so just multiply your ram with 1024 1024 is actually a constant value that brings you 32768 so multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 that you just have to paste it over here going to the maximum size just go over here multiply 32 gb into 1024 that brings you this one multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 so just paste it as well as over here go for ok then try to play the game next one is all about we need to move to the next step that is updating the windows just go over here in the search go for settings go to windows update make sure you are on the latest version of windows and just update the windows once after that go back and try to play the game if that is not working we need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd users nvidia users they just have to go over here select every details from here now once you select every details over here go for start search once after that you just need to close over here keep scrolling down and over here as you can see the driver version is 531.79 and the release date is which is one latest one so just download this one install it on your pc restart and try to play the game or if you're on the amd just go over here select graphics now go to submit and now here you will be getting the options for uh, you will be getting the options for both like Okay, let me go do it once again. So now if you get the options, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one and install it, it on your PC. Restart and try to play the game. And if you're done with this one, still you are having the issue. We need to try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++. For that, just go over here. Now keep scrolling down and download this one and install it in on a PC. Restart your PC is a mandatory. Once after that, try to play the game. And most probably the issue has to be fixed. Even after trying all these things and still it's not working, then you need to uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. For uninstalling the game, just right click, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you have already uninstalled. Install it back on any other drive. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.